squats are an outstanding exercise for engaging the glutes. The catch is you want to take your squats through full range of motion because it's deep squats that engage the glutes to the highest degree. Now, if we're body weight strength training, and if we don't have uh, weight available to perform a goblet squat, you don't have a rack, a barbell, whatever, and we want to increase the intensity and make the squat more difficult, we move into single leg variants. Now, research on single leg squats show that the variation of single leg squat, which engages the glutes to the highest degree, is going to be the single leg squat with the leg forward. So that's gonna be like your pistol squat. You're, you guys are probably used to seeing a pistol squat. One leg is out forward, squat all the way, basically <clears throat> uh, butt to grass, get back up, there's your pistol squat. That's gonna yield the highest gluteal engagement. The problem with a pistol squat, it requires a lot of neurological um, focus on balance, uh, stability. It's a great exercise because of those things, but at the same time, um, you can do fewer of them because a lot of your mental capacity is being used for the balance and stability component as opposed to generating pure strength. Now, due to the high level of mobility, stability, and balance that's required to perform pistol squats, for most people, it's a steep learning curve and it's going to take a long time, a lot of dedicated work to get there. So what we wanna do is we want to practice a single leg squat with the leg forward um, without having to have the same demands placed on the body as a pistol squat. And so this variation that I came up with fills that need quite well. Um, you'll notice that as you begin to drop into the squat, knee goes forward, hips start moving backward, and at the same time, the non-pressing leg is going right behind the other heel. So now what's happening is you are supporting the majority of the body weight with the pressing leg. That's engaging the glute medius, which all single leg work will do. Anytime you bring in a, a balance component to lower body work, What's happening is you're engaging the glute medius, um, which is a muscle that's important to strengthen for stability and for injury prevention. And having a strong glute medius will actually carry over into having better deadlift, better you know standard squats, things like that. So as you start to get into your squat, you are self-spotting with as small a self-spot as you can get away with. So when you're first learning this movement, maybe you're gonna spot yourself a little bit more, a little heavier spot. But as you get used to it, and as your balance and stability are, are good, what you're going to do is you're going to use that hind leg, that free leg, less and less for a self spot. What's happening is both legs are coming forward. So you can see that in the video where I have my free leg, my non-pressing leg is actually to the front. This is going to allow you to sit all the way down in a deep squat. The key is when you get to the bottom of the squat, you're not passively resting. So your glutes are not resting on your heels, right? When you get to the bottom, your quads are engaged, glutes are engaged. You are supporting the body weight on the pressing leg at the bottom of the squat. Imagine you had a barbell on your back, you're at the bottom of the squat, everything is activated, right? You can't rest passively at the bottom. So when you get to the bottom of this squat, you may be sitting lightly on the free leg and that free leg is providing that mild spot. Um, but the goal is to lean on that leg or to use that leg as little as possible. The pressing leg is doing all the work here. The hind leg is essentially for balance when you get to the bottom, you wanna have your chest up, your eyes forward, you're not slouched over. What's happening is you're trying to make sure that all your weight's not pre being pressed to the heel. You want the weight of the body being pressed to the middle of the foot. So it's gonna be evenly distributed between the heel and the ball of the foot. That's what you want. You're gonna stand up, that makes one repetition. Working on knees is gonna help you make the transition into pistol squats a lot smoother and a lot more quickly. So hopefully you found this video beneficial. Thank you for following along. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and thank you again for supporting my content.